It's Albuquerque Rapid Transit. It's a new form of public transportation that they're trying to bring to the city. Uh, it is based on programs, rapid transit programs that have been uh, implemented across the country. Uh, most often we're told it was a big success in like Cleveland or Salt Lake City or you know other cities that have completely different layouts. Um, I think it's important for any city you know to move forward with uh, any sort of advancements in, in public transportation um, and I think that you know we're talking about an insignificant amount of time uh, in the long term right when you compare the uh, positive aspects of art and uh, you know, I think art is just a, a first step, you know, and many steps that we need to take towards advancing public transportation as a whole. That they are saying that they're not going to be spending more than 60 days per 2,000 foot stretch of road. So maybe like one to two blocks for 60 days at a time. So by Albuquerque standards, that probably means 180 days in front of each location. And uh, throughout, uh, I don't know if you guys are from the area, but we have a very long track record of having uh, construction projects go way longer than they're supposed to and having things go wrong because they don't plan them out right in advance. My feeling is that <clears throat> if you take away half the traffic that comes by my store, I'm probably going to lose about half of my business. <clears throat> I took a survey for nine months and I discovered that 30% of all my business, um, of people that at least come to the counter and buy something from me, 30% of those people don't even live in Bernalillo County. So I depend a lot on people who come from out of town. So yes, um, I think that, you know, it will have some sort of effect on our business. Um, and it could be horrendous. Um, but I think, you know, the overall goal here is to make the city better and to attract people here and to uh, grow our population and uh, make sure that we're retaining millennials and uh, people that are going to greatly influence our city in the future. I personally, and as a representative of Astro Zombies, feel like it's not really going to be beneficial to the community and certainly not to this particular area, the Nob Hill Bus Business District. Um, this is like one of the busiest streets in Albuquerque and they're talking about cutting the lanes in half. Some people think that we're, by saying no to ART, that we're against rapid transit, and it is not what it's about. It's just that they never, they're going about it the wrong way. They, um, I think they should just have the buses like they are anyway, just completely uh, integrated with the traffic. Lomas, had they been thinking about it or had they actually talked to the people in advance and not tried to do it secretly in like closed door meetings, uh, they would have heard what we now know that a lot of businesses over there would like it. Um, Lomas actually runs uh, through like the malls, the courthouses, other government uh, buildings, uh, the university, uh, like pretty much it's, it's a pipeline to everything that's like important to the city. Um, without interrupting business because in most areas of Lomas you're going to have three to four lanes. So if you reduce it and have one dedicated lane for ART, it doesn't actually constrict the traffic flow in nearly the same manner. I think people should travel and go look at uh, other cities and how incredible this, these types of things can be within them. You know, when I go to larger cities, um, I utilize public transportation a lot because it's easy and it's accessible and I can get anywhere where I need to get to. Uh, this is just the first step in Albuquerque uh, kind of following, in, following the lead of some of these successful cities that are very comfortable and attractive to, to uh, people like me.